Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to our channel, The Bon Bon V, aka The Good Good Life. It's your girl Nuri and I am back with yet another video. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I've been gone for a few days, it's only been like four days, but I am back. Um, I was on a fast, on a three-day fast and that included social media, so I had to stay off of YouTube because, you know, as much as people don't want to believe it, YouTube is a social media site. So I had to delete it. And as you guys can see, you see the swollen face. I got a gumball in my mouth. But um, really, if you guys have been following me, you know that I've been going through this toothache issue. And eventually, I just it's been over a year that I've been dealing with it. And I just had to, to just say, you know what? I'm going to let this tooth go. I'm not paying any more money for this tooth. So um, it's a little bit swollen right now. It was a golf ball a few days ago. But right now, it's a gumball. So we thank God for that. But... Today, I wanted to come on here and just give you a word. So before I get into it, let's go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, thank you so much for everything you've done for us in our lives. Thank you for get, gathering us here today to get a word in, God, to receive your message, Lord. I pray that you fill me with the spirit of the Holy Ghost and you speak freely through me, God. Lord, I pray that every word that comes out of my mouth is none of mine, but all of yours, God. Make me small so that you can be big within me, God, so that everything that I say will be all your words, God. I pray that you open up every single person that's listening to my vo voice right now, open up their hearts to be able to receive the message and open up their spiritual senses to be able to understand the message as well. Thank you so much, God, for all that you've done. Thank you so much for the, the, the lives of the people listening to my voice. Thank you so much for blessing them and, and just get, having them live to see another day, to be here today, to listen to the sound of my voice. So thank you so much, God, for all that you do and all that you continue to do in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, listen, this is this is a word. So today, I wanted to get into this word. Um, basically, some of you guys have been betrayed by people that you just didn't expect to be betrayed by, right? And you're placed in a situation, maybe it's in a relationship, maybe it's in business, maybe it's in friendships, um, even family, you've been betrayed. And God wants you to know that this is, you were their last chance. You were that last chance for them to decide which which side they were going to choose, right? You were their last chance to redemption. And you were used as a test. You were placed in their lives as a test. Both of you guys were placed in each other's lives as a test. Them in your life as a form of test to see if you how you're going to respond to the betrayal if the betrayal comes and you in their lives to, to see how their character is going to be to see if they're going to take advantage of you and mistreat you okay so i wanted to get into a word and this <laughs> this doesn't really relate to this word that i just gave but for whatever reason when i when i think about this it brings me back to the fact that they chose, okay? So I'm not going to read the entire book of um, Second Chronicles. Is it Second Chronicles? Yeah, it's First Chronicles chapter 21. But I want you guys to read it. I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. Basically, and it's also in Second Samuel, I want to say 24. But um, basically, the devil tempted david to number israel and he tempted him and you when you're questioning like what does that mean he tempted david to, to number israel basically back in the old testament god was the one that commanded people to number israel it had to be a command from god to number israel but because david was winning all these battles king david he was winning all these battles and he's just like yeah my kingdom is so amazing he had this pride about him that he's like you know what i want to see the people that i'm ruling how many people am i in charge of who are the people that i'm ruling over you know and so god was angry at him for that like why would you why would you do that you know i've been fighting all your battles 
why are you trying to provoke me, right? And so um, he fell for the trap. He fell for the devil's trap and God gave him three, basically three options of his punishment. He said, you can either have three years of famine. You can have three months of you running away from your enemies while they chase after you. Or you can have three days of pestilence in the whole nation. Pick one. First of all, before I give you the answer, which one that David picked, which one would you choose? And this is going to be a good one for a quiz on YouTube. So if you guys didn't watch this video, I'm going to put the quiz on there and let me know what you, uh, let me, I'm going to see if you guys really have been paying attention to my videos, but, um, which one would you pick? Which one would you pick? Would you pick three days of pestilence? And if you guys know what pestilence is, it is suffering. It is death. It is, you know, it is sickness. It is it's just three days of suffering, okay? Um, and so imagine, you know, seven days of famine, th three months of you running after your enemies and three days of pestilence. It's concentrated. It's concentrated pestilence, right? Three months of you running after your enemies is concentrated, okay? So basically all of these punishment or options were all equal in size, right? So of course, David picked the last option, which was the three days of pestilence. So a lot of people died. A lot of people got sick. It was really bad. It was really bad in Israel. But the reason why I ch I chose this chapter or even thought about this chapter in regards to the message that I just gave is that God gave your enemies the option to pick their punishment, right? They had their punishment coming. They had their punishment coming, but he gave them a choice of redemption. He gave them a choice of redemption, that, and that was you. He gave them a choice of salvation, and that was you, and they squandered it. They got tempted to backstab you, to betray you, and they have chosen their downfall, okay, guys? They have chosen their downfall. So don't stress, don't sweat it, because listen, you have, you have passed your test right? You have passed your test. You overcame that betrayal. You overcame that problem that you went through, that that hurt that you, you went through. You overcame it. You have passed your test. It might have been hard for you. They thought they got away with it, but they didn't. They didn't. Okay, you guys, I just, I'm giving you a word of encouragement to know that God loves you. And the things that you thought were gone for you for, were, were gone from you for good, they're not. They're not gone from you for good. God will restore you tenfold. All the years that has been taken away from you will be restored back to you guys tenfold. So, you know, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to um, go ahead and post the video tomorrow. I'm going to make a whole, a whole thing. I was just kind of recovering today, you know, my tooth and my fasting and all that but i am back at it super excited to be back and i love you guys i miss you guys i'll be very honest i miss you guys and um just let me know if this message resonated with you let me know if this was some form of confirmation i want to know but anyway guys i love you and remember god loves you even more bye